Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here and welcome back to New World. Today we're going to kick things off by continuing with what seems like part of our main story quest for the faction we just joined. We are heading out to Cooper's Ranch. Uh, which is going to be due to the north and west. Along the way, if we find any boar, we will call them. We have a town board quest to take out eight boar. And other than that, we'll just have to see what happens along the way here. Uh, nuts on the ground. That's the first time I've found nuts on the ground. Assuming that we might use those in cooking recipes and things like that. Turkey. Not sure if we need turkeys, but I'm pretty sure they provide meat. Poultry thigh, yep. It seems like skinning is probably going to be one of the easiest and most natural things to level up as far as professions go. Haven't really been chopping a lot of wood because it's just... Oh, what is going on here? Uh, I'm not sure exactly why it's not letting me do that. Let's take a look. Oh, we have a flint logging axe. It's a little bit weird. Uh, let's try again. There we go. Uh, maybe it was just a problem with the tree itself. Yeah, I think for things like wood and stone, I'm probably going to have to do a lot of that off of recording just because it is fairly tedious and you just kind of have to set yourself to doing it. But I have been trying to keep my eyes open for iron nodes because they are not nearly as common as things like stone. Let's pull out the Warhammer here. I'm pretty sure that these guys are going to be weak to impact damage. We need to defeat 15 Withered, collect 7 Gemstones, and 2 Files of Perfume from, from the Wretchers. Okay, so a few objectives here to accomplish. Oh, hi there. Let's get our food buff going so that we can regen some health. Hidden treasures. Finished tilling up a new field for planting and spent most of the time clearing all kinds of rocks from the place. It looked like someone had just poured them out right below the topsoil. A couple of the farmhands were slacking off and throwing the rocks around. And damned if one didn't break open and have some kind of crystal inside. Don't know what they are, but they're pretty. Might fetch a good price next time we go to market. Ah, oh, they're probably like some kind of corrupted thing that ended up screwing this whole place over if I had to guess. Alright, so we got the items that we need from the Wretchers. Now we just need to kill some more regular Withered. Longsword of the Duelist. Not as good as what we have on us. Oh, hello, Respawn. Things are certainly respawning rather quickly today. I don't really care for that, but not much we can do about it. I like to kind of feel like you can progress through an area and clear things out as you go, and when things instantly respawn, it kind of makes it hard to feel like you're making any progress. 
Obviously, in an MMO with a ton of people in this area, it would be hard to not have a high respawn rate. That was a big old whiff. I want to level our Warhammer up until we can at least get the third active ability. Speaking of which, uh, we do have some attributes here. Let's pop those into strength. And we'll grab Path of Destiny, a powerful ground strike that erupts a in a linear wave of energy in front of the player, dealing 110% weapon damage to all targets in its path. Some really nice AoE on the Warhammer, I really like that a lot. Turkey. I do want to investigate these houses, see if we can find any more notes. We have this building here, the one back there, and then the one over here to our left. kind of hard to tell like the range at which things typically aggro and it's hard to tell when we have actually aggroed something by looking at it until it runs up and starts hitting you. Rescuer boots. Take a look at those. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they are better than what we have on us. There we go. Can we actually get into this building anywhere? That's the real question here. I see some steps. Longsword of the Scholar, where did this guy come from? Did he come from out in the field? He must have. Uh, we got a couple of items here. Oh, the musket is thrust damage, not impact damage. It's good to know. Pretty sure we did a big whiff there, even though he was like right next to us, maybe because he was pressed against the wall in a weird fashion. Let's see, let's go to the house over here. Kind of thought that would interrupt his move, but it did not seem to phase him at all.
and nothing else going on there either. We need one more gemstone. Is there a building that we haven't been in yet? I don't think so. There's a note here, but let's clear this guy out first. See, sometimes they get into their special moves and even the abilities that knock them down don't actually knock them down. Abaya Serpe. I once caught a fish I couldn't stand to keep. It looked at me with the eyes of an old man. And the manner of the old priest I used to attend services for in the old world. He preached a real fire and brimstone kind of sermon. And this fish, I swear, had the same look in his eyes. Couldn't bear to eat it, so I threw it back. Maybe someone else will catch him someday. That is a really weird... That is a really weird uh, piece of reading there. Not really sure what that is supposed to tell us about. Uh, okay, we've been in those buildings. We've been in that building. Oh, we got our last gemstone from looking in the well. Okay, then. Nothing else in the immediate area to really investigate, so we should probably just head back to town and get this turned in. Someone asked if this game has a story, like a main story quest, and yes it does. It does have a main story that really starts to pick up as we get closer to level 20. We start learning some new, more things about the history of the world. Right now they're basically just letting us in on the things that are going on here and slowly acclimating us to the world and the dangers. And I kind of like this slow build up for our character and doing some work for our faction first as we learn about the lost and the corruption. Uh, and then in a little while, we'll start to get into what is probably considered more of the main story arc. Uh, the Marauders Manifesto, which we did not pick up. No barriers, let's keep this short. We're the Marauders. We don't make fancy speeches, we don't need preachy causes. The only thing we need is ourselves. This land is stuffed with opportunities for people of ambition. People who take what they want. Riches, power, respect. You want these things too, don't you? Everyone does. We're just honest enough to admit it. Nothing is fair. Nothing has meaning outside the meaning you give it. Embrace it. We are the masters and mistresses of our domain. It is a brutal world out there. Don't be a victim. Be a Marauder. Fair. Uh, committees are the worst. I hate committees. Always have. When two or more imbeciles are too scared or stupid to act, they form a committee. But against my better judgment, I agreed to this pact between the factions. I thought the common threat of corruption was obvious enough that we'd be compelled to take action. But whenever I propose, or whenever I propose a joint attack, I am blocked by cowards. The syndicate hides behind its paperwork, and the covenant hides behind its pews. It's all just politics and posturing. Meanwhile, more good people are lost to corruption every day. I must go. It's time for another strategy meeting. God, I really hate committees. Well done. I trust you left a swath of destruction in your path? <laughs> Parfait. You have chosen wisely by joining the Marauders. We will show you the path to your destiny. My blade, my life. Choose your next contribution to our cause. Alright, we'll open the faction board. Uh, we've identified a threat to the Marauder interest in the region. Go to the Kanan tomb and defeat every withered necessary. Good. Plunder the Kanan tomb. There are items at the Kanan tomb that could be valuable to the Marauders. Can we... We can do multiple of these. Okay, good. Why wouldn't we just take all of them? That's the question. We need supplies for Marauder troops. 
hunt the wolves in the Greenville area. Retrieve mar marauder asset and await further instructions. Oh, this is PvP. Let's not do any PvP stuff yet. Same here. Okay, so the top ones are PvE, the bottom ones are PvP. Got it. Does it mark these on the map? Yes, it does. Okay, very good. Uh, and we have our main quest to turn in here, I think. Let's go see what this is up here. Okay, there we go. That was just uh, something from the command board. Okay, we've done that. So we have to complete one of the faction missions and report back. Let's take a look at what is closest. I think we just go straight up the road here. And we can do two of these at once. And then this one down here is level 13. This one's level 6. Let's go north and uh, do the Kanan Tomb stuff. Uh, looking at our inventory, we're still pretty good on weight. I could probably work on crafting some of this stuff and dropping it off, but I will do that when we come back to town. Uh, let's, well, let's take care of this wolf. Then we'll back up a little bit and we will lay down a campsite in case we get murdered. There we go, let's apply all resources. Usually when you go to these areas to do these kinds of quests, you can just kill everything and pick everything up and you'll complete the quest. You don't really have to pay too much attention to your quest log and it's probably for the best. What's interesting is that you'll often see like higher level people in the area that you're in doing the quest that you're doing because they probably started in one of the other starting areas and now they've kind of circled around to this area and they're doing the board quest and side quest here. That's why we're seeing like level 22 people doing the same quests that we're doing. April 15th, the work goes swiftly. We have carried away the soil from beneath the great sphere, revealing the full mark carved upon the stone. Maddie's men labor 
honest and industrious. They work efficiently, which is well and good, as I am not certain how far my coin will last. Maddie's worried about provisions. Food has proven a challenge, as the scouts find they must range further and further from the camp for game. This is worried Rolf, though he has not said why. He is often at the perimeter, staring into the woods. More curiously, Maddie claims she has seen such marks before on smaller spheres being sold at the outpost. She said the small spheres were scavenged from hunters near the temple to the east. Rolf frowned at that and said it wasn't in the ground they found the spheres, but in the rib cages of skeletons there, like stone hearts. Maddie looked unsettled by the news, as did her men. I pressed Rolf on this, but he refused to speak further. I must secure one of these spheres. After our work here, perhaps a trip to the temple is in order. We walked by one of the giant stone spheres. So they're saying they're finding little ones inside the chest of skeletons. Possibly powering them or keeping them animated. Like a phylactery or something? I... That's not really right. A phylactery is kept like elsewhere away from a lich to ensure they can resurrect. So maybe just like a undead power source. Void metal? Don't know what that is. Sounds good. Alright, that's the kill quest done. We need to search more chests. So this is one of the giant stone spheres right here. Misfortune, April 19th. I write this far from the excavation. Oh, hi, hi, how are you? Let's... Good, great. Uh, and we're being attacked from a distance here by the Wretcher. Let's get in there and get him. Alright, Warhammer Mastery has gone up. April 19th, I read this far from the excavation, yet I am alive and must recount what happened. Rolf and I were the only ones I know who managed to escape. It was near dusk. Rolf had sought me out. One of the guides had gone missing. Not deserted of that Rolf was certain. It was something else. His instincts proved true, for, at du for as dusk bled out, we heard a distant cry in the woods, then silence. Then spotted shapes, hunched, moving amongst the trees. Rolf became afraid, but to the man's credit, it did not stay his, stay his action, and he pushed me to move. Where there's one, there's at least two others you can't see, he hissed to me, and fighting my hesitation, I left the equipment behind. Cursed Isle, these infernal things seek to drive us from knowledge at every turn. This place is literally crawling with enemies. Uh, I kind of want to be looking in directions we haven't looked, because we do need a couple more chests. Oh, we're finding more notes than chests. Shards like glowing embers. Scattered almost haphazardly throughout the dig site, the crew and I have found these strange reddish-orange crystal shards, approximately the size of my palm, give or take. They are light but incredibly strong. It is unclear what they may have been used for, but given the tool marks on the edges, these may have been common to the ancients. They could have even been decora decorations on something that has long since been lost to time or common tools or have any number of other uses. I, I do have to say, they, they pack a lot of uh, lore objects and just like random notes and stuff you can pick up, and I think that's really cool. It's a good way to flesh out a world, especially when the world is brand new and uh, people are learning it all for the first time.
Let's go ahead and uh, put our points here into strength. If we get to this milestone, we get plus 5% damage to melee weapon light attacks and uh, plus 10% mining speed. Constitution is 20% stronger consumables for health and 10% logging speed. Not really very concerned about that. Let's clear him out before we pick up this note here. Whoops, that was a huge whiff. Another huge whiff, and we're like stuck in a weird corner. <laughs> Alright, it wasn't pretty, but it got done. Excavation day 15, April 15th. The work goes swiftly. We have carried away the soil from beneath the great sphere. We're revealing full mark revealing the full mark carved upon the stone. Oh, we already read this one, didn't we? I wish they would like go away when we've read them. You know, as if we had actually picked them up. Uh, that looked like it was going to be an item, but it was not. April 1st, Rolf's guidance proved true. The man brought us to one of the great spheres and said that here we might labor without interruption. He also introduced me to a former quartermaster of the East Oaks Company, a stern woman by the name of Maddie, who leads a crew of a dozen laborers in need of employment. She seemed not bitter by the experience, only matter of fact, and had no wish to build more walls to be burned down. The sphere is partially buried as the others and requires men to dig, but Maddie assured us her crew would put their backs to it if they knew what was good for them, and I had the coin to pay them. I assured them I did. Uh, the lie tasted sour in my mouth, but I will figure out a means to pay them. The work on the Great Sphere must begin immediately. Yeah, we're, we're kind of discovering these in like any order. That was April 1st and the other ones were like much further into April. Uh, let's see, let's see. We don't have any more actives to pick up, so now we can start picking up these uh, bonus attributes, I guess you could call them. Reverse Stab now has Grit, making the attack unstoppable. Whirling Blade causes 5% Rend for 10 seconds. Successful Heavy Attacks grants you 30% in power. I have no idea which of these are going to be like the best for us. Sword Critical Strike, chance increased by 10%, seems pretty decent. Uh, this might be a little bit out of the area that we need to be in. Yeah, see, this is the Ambrain Temple, which is a level 21 area. Okay. Great. We have a level 7 area right next to a level 21 area. That is not where we want to be right now. Uh, just having a little bit of trouble finding these last couple of chests, though. And if we see camps that people have made, we're not in the area. Because remember, you can't make camp inside of a landmark area. Uh, 
We we have like a second where after we do an ability, we can't really get our shield up quite in time. Let's eat some food and switch our weapons out. Uh, this guy is a named enemy, Master Zint. And he is chasing that guy for some reason. I'm fine with that, I guess. One more chest to find here. Oh, he's back! He's a whiff. Sometimes I see all these guys like running at us and I really can't comprehend where the hell they're coming from. Like, how did we get three guys dropped on us just now? Doesn't really make a lot of sense. Uh, let's pop a potion, I guess. And let's grab this last chest because we might need to get a hasty retreat going out of here. Uh, we have more rations, right? Somewhere, maybe? Here we go. Alright, yeah, I think we can go ahead and, uh, well, let's head back. Oh, another note. There's probably some notes that I have not found and might not find. It's... With the respawn rate as high as it is, it's hard to spend the time in the area that I would like to spend, uh, exploring. I think we've read this one. Yeah, let's let's get going out of here. I'd really really like it if when you pick up those lore objects that they disappear for you. I don't know if that's like a technical limitation where they have to leave them laying around after you've already read them. But it makes it really hard to complete an area and know if you found everything or not. I am not gonna fight you. They seem to have quite a long leash though. Not sure what that was. My blade, my life. Choose your next contribution to our cause. All right, we have 250 tokens. Let's see what things cost here. Oh, they cost quite a bit. Quite a bit. That would be really nice. So we're going to want to be, like, working on a lot of these as much as we can. Moe's Farm. Items in Moe's Farm that could be valuable. Buccaneer Creek. A threat. Okay. So we still have to complete some more missions here. We probably have to complete three to do the Marauder's Advancement, which is our top main quest. Uh, let's get into our journal here. I want to unpin the fishing quest for now. We will get back to that eventually. Oh, this is like a level, a level 20 thing. 
Hmm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What is this? Oh, okay. We've met our... We've met what we needed to meet for this to progress. Okay, good. Level 20 seemed like a, a long time away to progress the main story. I've been hearing good things about you and your new allies. I believe you chose well in your allegiance. I am grateful to see the factions taking a proactive role in defending the territory. But I worry that their squabbling could give the corrupted an advantage. Is there anything we can do? There is one matter that needs attention. Watcher Faid is still away, so you're my best option. We've been getting rather disturbing reports that corruption is manifesting closer and closer to the settlement. Uh, we could check it out. Thank you. Constable Dwadi would send an army, but I think some discretion is appropriate here. Look for any corruption growths in the area, and if you find them, do whatever you can to destroy them. I hope we're, like, doing one of the corruption things. This was one of my big gripes in the beta, is that there were these corruption spawns that were spawning around the areas, but they were all such a high level that you couldn't actually engage with them. They were all, like, level 25. Uh, I'm kind of hoping that this is our introduction to those corrupted areas that we can do at our level. Uh, but we will see, we will check this one out next time, guys. I'm going to take a bit of a break here, and let's take a look at our map. Yeah, see, this isn't, this isn't the thing. This is what I'm talking about over here. You see these corrupted marks here, recommended level 25. A portal has been opened, capable of bringing swift passage to the corrupted forces throughout Eternum. And then recommended number of players, five on this one. Yeah, I would have loved to see them have some of these corrupted portals that were a bit of a lower level. To kind of like initiate us into that a little bit lower. We're not going to be able to check these out to level 25, which is going to be quite some time. We've been getting levels pretty quickly right now, but that's going to slow down uh, fairly substantially, I believe, as we progress into the teens and get close to that level 20 mark. Uh, for this, reduce stamina consumption by 30% when blocking melee attacks. Staggers all targets in its path. Yeah, let's take that. Alright guys, like I said, we'll take a break here. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate all the support. If you did like the video, leave a like. It helps me out a lot. And consider subscribing to the channel. That would be a great help as well. Take care of yourselves out in the real world. And take care of each other. And we will see you back in Eternum sometime soon. Bye now. <laughs>